Time now for the Angler's View, brought to you by Pure Energy Rechargeable Batteries. Blake's four and a half pound bass came off a submerged island point. Let's dissect some of the factors involved here. Water depths on top of the submerged point were three feet by the island and 12 feet as the point tapered down into the main lake. The outside edge of the ridge quickly tapered down to depths anywhere between 10 and 14 feet. The inside edge displayed shallower depths of four to eight feet. A prominent weed line ran the entire length of the ridge on the deeper side of the point. The weeds appeared healthier midway down the weed line. This theory was reinforced when fish appeared on the graph. The strike zone was a band of water between the edge of the weed line to depths between 10 and 12 feet. It quickly became clear that the bass were holding around the healthier fauna. Due to increasing winds, it was no longer possible to fish the structure methodically. The boys decided to drift parallel to the edge of the structure. By dragging their tubes, they were able to keep their baits close to the bottom and in the strike zone. Using the electric motor in combination with his graph, Sean was able to perform an accurate controlled drift. Blake's fish devoured a crawfish color salted tube on a quarter ounce jig head. The bait was cast a short distance from the boat and allowed to sink to the bottom. Subtle twitches were incorporated to add action. If you feel a fish tapping or pick up your bait, allow the fish slack line. When you feel the weight of the fish, set the hook and hang on. Other top producing baits on this trip were deep diving crankbaits in hot chub and shad patterns. For more information on subjects featured in today's show, log on to our website.